Today we're gonna to be experimenting on one of the most popular keto recipes of all time. Well, maybe not all time, but definitely the last five years. By the way, this video is sponsored by Seed, but more about them later. In October of 2020, all of our lives changed. That's when Heavenly Fan published her video with her keto french fries. And it changed our lives in more than one way. First of all, we really liked this recipe, although we did mess it up the first time we tried it. Look at these shapes, Sarah. <laughs> Secondly, this kind of moved our channel in a different direction because this actually got us up and cooking more often. So inadvertently, she moved our entire channel into the masterpiece that you see today. I don't know why, but we got reminded of trying her original keto fry and I just happened to like look through the comments on her video and someone mentioned that they made chips out of this recipe and I know that Heavenly Fan actually made a chip recipe out of this, but for some reason, like escaped the brain Sarah and I never tried that recipe, even though we commented on that recipe because we were like, ooh, we wanna try this someday. We didn't, we forgot about it until now. So, you know, on this channel, we've made a lot of chips, like dozens of them. We even made them out of egg whites. Didn't like those. But this chip looks really, really good. And um, we thought we would experiment with the comment on the original video and try something new. So Sarah and I typically make Heavenly Fans keto french fries with almond flour. And she does have an option on the original recipe for a coconut flour keto fry. We don't typically enjoy coconut flour, but a lot of people said that coconut flour actually tastes way better in this recipe. You don't taste the coconut or anything like that. And it gives it a different texture. And so, I figured why not try to make chips with this new recipe that I saw in the comments. But first, we're gonna talk about Seed, who's the sponsor of this video. Sarah and I have been keto since 2019, and that was the first time in our lives that we actually prioritized our health. And prioritizing our health means prioritizing our gut health, and that's where Seed comes in. Ever since we started taking seed regularly, we have seen improvements in our digestion. DSO-1 is formulated with 24 strains of bacteria that support your gut, skin, and heart health. And all 24 of these strains have been clinically or scientifically studied. And if you didn't know, the journey for these bacteria is actually a hostile one. And that's because you have tons of acids and bile salts in your stomach. But because of Seed's Viacap capsule in capsule design, it protects the bacteria inside, allowing it to actually reach your colon alive. It comes with a beautiful glass storage container that you can keep at home, and you also get a glass travel vial so that you can take it on the go. And it does not need to be refrigerated. So click the link in our description and use code KETOTWINS25 for 25% off of seed. So to make the Heavenly Chips, which is an ode to Heavenly Fan, the original creator of this recipe, you're gonna be needing 40 grams of coconut flour, which is about six tablespoons. We operate in tablespoons, even though yeah, I know it's wrong, and I know that it's very American, but whatever. 10 grams of almond flour. We're gonna be using 1.5 tablespoons of almond flour, three teaspoons of xanthan gum, seven to eight teaspoons of boiling hot water. And so here's where we're gonna kind of go rogue with this recipe. I have a teaspoon of nutritional yeast. Maybe it'll give it a little yeasty flavor and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Don't worry about all the measurements. We're gonna be leaving it in the description of this video under the video player. If you click more, it will expand the description with all the links. We're gonna leave a link to Heavenly Fan's video too. She has the chip video and her original fry video. Watch those too. We got so much hate the first time we made this recipe. It really scarred me for life, okay? <laughs> like, whoa. We're oh. two weirdos on the internet. Right, making content. We're not for everybody. But if you like us, if you wanna subscribe and support this channel, we will greatly appreciate that. You can click subscribe to join our tribe because we would like to have more than the current subscriber amount that we have. So the first step is going to be to add your flours together and then all of the rest of the ingredients and you're gonna to wanna to mix those all together because the thing with xanthan gum is, is that if water hits it and it's not perfectly distributed throughout your mixture, you're gonna get globs of gook. It smells coconutty for sure. Yeah. That's why I guess I was hesitant about using coconut because I feel like it's such an overpowering. I'm waiting for you to shut the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So Sarah's like... talking like once in a blue moon. Some people say I'm more thoughtful than Emily. <laughs> so the water has to be like hot. So we put it in the microwave. The end. That's what I'm doing right now. So. Okay. Three. Let's do seven then if it's not sticky enough. We'll just, okay, seven, seven and a half. half. Seven and a half, okay. Is there any special technique here? No, it's called stirring it together. Mm -hmm. 
I definitely smell the coconut, like Sarah was mentioning. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is, it, it, it is coming together. Okay. We ended up using eight and a half tablespoons of water. Kind of use pr the pressure to make it a solid log. That's what you do. Okay, well then I'm gonna I, roll it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Roll, just roll it, you know, tightly so that it starts forming a log and then you kind of use pressure to, right. Sushi roll. Yeah, yeah, like that. We're gonna put this in the freezer for an hour. In Heavenly Fan's video, she kept it in there for six hours, but that's because she was using a food processor to chop them really thin. Since we don't have that, and I don't really have the patience to wait six hours, I'm going to be taking it out now. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes, and I do not live here, and it's getting dark, so. And because she wants them like super cold, we are actually going to cut them really thin and then put them on a plate and stick them in the freezer because I think that's what's gonna help with the texture of these chips. All right, I'm running out of time here. It's like, I'm, I, I either it's either precision or rushing. Which one do you want? Both. All right. Finger for scale. We're gonna freeze these for about 10 minutes just so that they're nice and ice cold. And the secret behind cooking Heavenly Fans fries originally is to start off the oil cold. We're gonna place the frozen chips in the oil and then we're gonna start the heat at low and we're gonna see how it goes. Low heat. How long do you think it's gonna take? Um, I don't know, probably like five minutes until we start seeing some action. The, the first batch is way too thick. I mean, it tastes all right, but it's like way too thick. It's like, I'd rather have it be a fry at that point. So we have our second batch here and I cut them too. So I'm assuming they're gonna be too thick. And I figured why not try to roll these out and see if we can get them super thin. <laughs> and we're gonna go downstairs and try it. Okay. What a journey. <laughs> it is now like six o'clock at night. We started filming at like two. So we did learn a couple of things. When I cut them, I cut them way too thick, even though I really tried my best to cut them thin. Sarah had the genius idea for once in her life to roll out the additional uh, chips that we were gonna put in the second batch. And I think that that is when it started to come together for us. Some mm -hmm. of these are super, super thin. And also, I think that a lot of this is gonna come down to what you choose to flavor these. Yeah. We tried a couple upstairs when they were really thick and we were like, ah, they are they don't taste right. right. But when we put a little bit of salt and pepper on these, I think that they really started to taste like what they're supposed to taste like. But anyway, let's try it. You can have the perfect chip. Thank you. All right, let's see the crunch on it. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Wow. It's Thinness good. is like the most important factor here. The thinner that they are, mm. the more chip-like they are. Try to get the perfect one. Mmm. <laughs> you really taste the olive oil mm -hmm. and they're oily, like a regular potato chip. Mm -hmm. They looked so much like truffle slices in the beginning that I kind of want to try a touch of truffle mayo on it one. Let me feed you. <laughs> Uh, can't go wrong with that. Wow, it turned out really, really good. Mm -hmm. I was kind of worried there for a second. I freaked out because I thought I messed it up by cutting them by hand and you know what? Maybe half a brain, half a brain. Equal one brain. Right. Yeah. I'll have to calculate the carbs and I'll put them on the screen. If they are almost like plantains, texture yeah. in the middle, they're too thick. You almost want to be able to see through it. Like this one might be too thick. I can't see through it. Okay. Actually, this one's okay. Yeah. I think that either they have to be really cooked all the way through, right. or they have to be really paper thin. I think that if you can get them super, super thin with uh, parchment paper, rolling them between two pieces of parchment paper, you're really gonna like this recipe. When I tried it without seasoning it, I could really taste the uh, coconut yeah. in it. And I'm not like the biggest fan of coconut, um, only in like sweet recipes, right. I like coconut. But with this, 
once you season it, I really can't taste the coconut anymore. It brings out the savory right. side. It's really, really good. So we're gonna be leaving all the instructions for this in the description if you guys wanna check it out, if you guys try it, and you guys have any more tips on how you guys are improving it. Because honestly, whenever we kind of experiment with the recipe, a lot of you guys do too. And that's how new things are born. And remember to click the link in our description and use code KETOTWINS25 to get 25% off seed DSL-1 Daily Symbiotic. And if you guys wanna see another chip that we have done recently that we really love, the cottage cheese chip, you're gonna click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are the Keto, Keto Twins, signing out. out. <laughs>